Alright, hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a lovely little video that we've got right here because we have some great news for Apex. Now, it's not all confirmed, it's all leaks, so it's not like news is in like you can reliably say that this is going to be coming true, but here we have a karambit knife. First bit of news, this is probably the least uh, interesting part because it's just another heirloom. But yeah, another universal heirloom here and... It looks pretty cool, but I think having this as one of the marketing uh, techniques for every single new season is a bit stupid. But hey ho, we can now say we have a third universal heirloom that you can buy. Great, but we have better news, and that is Lifeline Reborn is actually confirmed to be coming. So first of all, we obviously see in this art that she is using Doc to uh, glide. So this will be an additional passive to what she already has. Now, I think it already has a very high pick rate. So it would be interesting to see how that actually affects her. But this is it right here. The passive is the same. But she can also glide in the air for one and a half seconds. Then she, the tactical is the same. But the drone can now be assigned to and follow a teammate around. So, so it's not really like how Newcastle's shield is. Where I thought you would be like, you know, move or whatever. You actually just kind of, it's more like conduits tactical in this way now, where you actually like target someone and then the, the drone will go and assign itself to that person. Which is, I mean, good, but then you, there's more reliability, there's more pressure on Lifeline to do her job. And then her ultimate is a circle um, that she essentially creates. Similar to Gibby's bubble, but it's not a bubble, it's just like a cylinder. So it's like a circle around your squad that goes upwards. That essentially just acts like a bit of cover. So full 360 cover, um, but it doesn't really do the whole gimme bubble thing with revives. Instead, it does healing, so you're allowed to heal yourself faster within it. Now, there was also a, a lifeline shield that was also displayed as well, but I'm pretty sure this has got to do with the OG mode that's going to be coming next season as well. There's an OG mode that's planned to be coming, as well as a Titanfall mode as well. So there's a lot of crossovers here. So I'm unsure if Lifeline's shield will actually be part of her actual kit now, or if this is just a screenshot from like the OG mode that's going to be coming. Which obviously Lifeline used to have her revive shield, so this might be what that is. But what I'm most interested in is this screenshot right here, which shows Lifeline holding the APG from Titanfall. So like how I just said, there's going to be a... OG mode, so indicating how Lifeline's got her old Revive Shield, there's also going to be a Titanfall mode, so that's why there's an APG that's apparently going to be in the care pack. Now, if you don't know what an APG is, it's basically like a grenade launcher. It's from Titanfall, and it is very powerful, and I really have been curious for the last, like, 20 odd seasons, when we've been constantly told that this APG is going to be coming to the game, why have they decided to release it now? And how is it actually going to act in Apex? This is definitely going to be the testing ground right now for the developers to see if this actually would work. And I want to see how they implemented the ammo because I've made loads of concepts for like things like void ammo and stuff like that. So I wonder if they've actually took any inspiration on that. But we'll have to see. And then we also have this screenshot right here, which is incredible. I don't know how real this actually is. It looks very real to me. Um, but this basically shows Rhapsody... Also Fade in the Skirmisher class as well, you can see. And also um, Vantage's Mam, Zenya, in this Controller class as well. This is incredible. Now, whether this is an early beta test of, like, the Legends in, like, how many seasons from now, or whether this has got to do with the whole, like, rift that's opening up and potentially, like, you know, like parallel universes and stuff like that where like obviously we have the mobile apex and then we have the actual apex legends wonder if like them two universes are going to combine with this whole rift thing that's going on and therefore we get fade and rhapsody as well as obviously Zenya down the line um as a legend and so we could see in a future season or this season or whatever it is two potential legends maybe even three all come in at the exact same time. That would really shake up the meta. Now we also see some perks on the right hand side for uh, Rhapsody as well. And we also see uh, Rhapsody's abilities right here. 
Now, these abilities all seem to be exactly the same, which is very surprising because a lot of Rhapsody's kit, you know, since she actually released, I believe it was around about, you know, when we were in about season 13 or 14 or something like that, when she actually released, um, a lot of her kits actually been integrated into characters now, with her ultimate being very similar to Catalyst's ultimate, and her tactical being very similar to Conduit's tactical. So it would be very interesting to see if this is actually real or if it's just a fake leak or what. Um, because in my opinion, I don't really think we need to be having duplicate abilities. I would way rather have them make new abilities for Rhapsody and Fade or slightly change these abilities or something like that. But we'll have to see. Um, it does look very exciting though. Um, and it would make sense in the lore as well, the fact that this rift opens up and like these parallel universes actually essentially combine. Would be pretty cool. But as for right now, nothing is confirmed. This is just all leaks. Um, and the actual art that, you know, basically got shown with the lifeline stuff practically is confirmed because it was on the Epic Games store um, early. So it, it practically is confirmed that, like, Lifeline Reborn is coming and so is the EPG. But as for Rhapsody and Fade and Xenia, um, that... I don't know whether it's it's a it's a fake leak or not, so don't take that with you know, a hundred percent confirmed. Obviously, just take it as it might happen. I don't know, uh, but it would make sense if it did. But uh, yeah, no trailer for today, though, guys. Um, I was uh, <laughs> I mean, this video was going to be completely different. Um, I thought we were going to be potentially getting some juicy bits of information, but um, it seems like we have not been given that. But. We have been given a lot of leaks, so that is something. So this video has been quite worthwhile anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, potentially some trailers to drop soon. I am a little bit scared, though, for this season, especially how popular Call of Duty is right now, um, that we really shouldn't be having a bit of a dry season right now. We really need to lift the, players, the player base numbers up right now. But uh, yeah, I want to hear what you guys think about this season. What are you most excited for? Are you excited for Life and Reborn? Are you excited for the APG? For OG Apex as well? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.